Okay, I'll make now a small video of what is a JSON. What is a JSON? JSON are, is the, uh, if, you're, if you know very well what a JSON object is, then you can directly skip this video because what I will do now, it's totally irrelevant for you. But if you never heard of uh, JSON, then this is the place for you. Right, okay, I am in Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Code, in case you don't have it in your, in case you don't have it installed, go to Google, Visual Studio Code, it's a program for Studio Code, download, you install it, right, and it's a Visual a Code Editor, right, so once you have it installed, you can open a new file, JavaScript file, I will do this with JavaScript because it's the language that fits better the explanation of a JavaScript object notation. And um, I will create a folder, no, I will create a, a new file, but I'll do it from here. I'll close this, okay? I'll create a folder, new folder, uh, JSON. Inside this folder, I will drag this folder here. And now, uh, Visual Studio Code, it's opened inside the folder. I click here, new file, uh, example.json. When I write down .json, Visual Studio Code understands the kind of data that will appear here. And uh, um, JSON object is a way to structure that data in a certain way, okay? So, first of all, um, it's uh, key value per. So, for example, name Pedro. There must be always um, double quotes. Double quotes, okay? And if you do some, if you miss some of the of the um, of the double quotes, you will get an error, an expected and string. Because um, JSON understands the data if you give him the data the way that needs it, right? Um, so, what kind of uh, uh, data we have in a, in a JSON? We have strings like this, okay? Remember, key, value, pairs, there are two dots. I can put empty strings here, no, no, no problem. Uh, open bra uh, curly braces to open and close it, and then comma to uh, add several properties. Okay? Like this is how we add several properties. If we want to add a number, you do it like this. You don't need to, to put the double quotes. Why? <laughs> it's a rule. That's how, that's how it is, okay? Um, you can also add um, booleans, right? So booleans, it's something that can be only be true or false. And if you see the color, it's a different tone of blue, and I'm not getting any error. If I write something that is different, I will get an error. Why? Because true and false are two uh, words that are like reserved. They are reserved, so they will be interpreted as a Boolean, true or false. We can also have uh, nulls. Uh, this is a bit. Nulls, it's a type of data that means that there is nothing, like that the data ex uh, exists but there is uh, nothing assigned. And then we have undefined. There is something, I don't want to get very deep into this because it's something that we will not really undefined. No, they're not accepted in, in JSON. They are accepted in JavaScript. Better, much more simple. Null, it means that there is nothing, okay? Um, so that I still haven't specified which value will be, uh, for example, which value will be uh, assigned here because the JSON objects can be modified and all of that along the time. Um, we can also add arrays, for example, mm, countries visited. What is an array? We specify an array of data like this. Okay, so for example, and then we can add Spain, several items inside, okay? like that. We can also add uh, any type of data. For example, we can also add a number. We can also add an, a null, a boolean. Okay, we can also add this kind of data in an array. And 
another object, like another object. Look at this. This is another object and many objects. Okay. For example, mm, name. Okay. I can add more objects. Um, in this case, this this kind of uh, structure is kind of. I'm just showing you what is possible. It doesn't mean that this makes sense, but it's possible to add objects and inside an array can there it can be another array that has another array that has another array okay like this not infinitely oh yes i'm not sure to be honest i've never been in this scenario of arrays inside arrays inside arrays the the json object it's uh, can accept very complex structures of data right um but uh fortunately it's a bit it's a bit strange to see Le several levels of arrays inside another arrays. The most common that we will see are strings, numbers, booleans, arrays, but only one or two level divs, and objects inside objects. That could occur. Okay. For example, I can say that. Uh, imagine that I have. I want to. This could be possible. Imagine that I have an object that names or name age, and if it's teacher or not, and I want to add students an array of students that are more objects of users name laura surname age in teacher no because he's a student okay and then Imagine I have three students that are like this. Laura, Jesse, 38, 7. Okay, and I have another more student. Imagine that I have three students. Right? This would this could be this would be an accepted structure. This structure would be accepted. Um right, so my object of myself, my name, my surname, my age, am I teacher? No, am I teacher? True. <laughs> uh, and these are all my students. And inside each of the array of students, and I add the object of the um, of the user. Okay. Um, if you want to know more about JSON objects, you should uh, look for for um, another tutorial because it's or YouTube videos because. Is, uh, I will only focus on whatever is strictly necessary, strictly necessary, so that we can find them, we can understand how to play with them. Um, but basically, the best source that I could provide you with is that you go, you come to Google if you want to learn more about JSON objects. JSON W three schools, W three schools. Okay, if you want to play a little bit and you want to understand what a JSON is and uh, and um, and you want to have a deeper knowledge, you could come here. 